I'm a photographer and drone pilot. And I'm launching my first NFT collection. Let's go. Hello everyone, my name is Nick and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now for today's video, we're gonna be talking about NFTs. Now hear me out, now hear me out. Depending on which side you're on, hear me out. Now there's a lot of good publicity about NFTs, but there is also a lot of negative. <laughs> A lot of people just do not understand what the heck an NFT is. A lot of people just don't see the value in an NFT. Whereas on the other side, everyone investing in NFTs right now thinks they are so early and they are so pumped about it. Now when newly developed ideas have a lot of confusion, usually that has the best upside, but also the most downside. So instead of just reading and seeing what other people are talking about NFTs on both sides, I decided to, uh, to dip my toes in myself. There is no better way to learn about something than to try it for yourself. Just, just do it, man. Just do it. So that brings me to my first NFT collection. And you should do it too. Now, over the last few months, work has been pretty slow. So I've spent a lot of time working on passion projects that I have just pushed aside. And creating this NFT collection has been one of them. Now, over the course of my life, something that has brought me constant joy was the beach, was the ocean, just the vastness of it, the beauty of it, just the sounds, the smell, everything about it just brings me joy. So I wanted to share those feelings through art and through this NFT collection. So I spent many, many days driving all around Southern California beaches and taking drone photos of beaches in the ocean, just, just encapsulating my joy for both the art form of drone photography, as well as the beauty of the ocean and how it makes me feel. So I came up with a limited edition of photos for my first NFT collection. Now, I didn't just wanna do this to do this. I, I, I wanted this, this project to mean something. I wanted to help out in some sort of way. So written on all of the pages is that half 50% of every dollar that is spent on these NFTs is gonna go to charity. That means if you are the first to buy an original, 50% of that purchase price is gonna go into charity. Now, if you purchase this through someone else, 50% of all royalties will go to charity. Now, the charities will vary, but they will all have one thing in common, and that is to make the beaches and the ocean a safer and more beautiful place. Not only for us, but for the animals as well. I wanted these NFTs to have a purpose, and that's why I wanted to do this. Now you may want to buy an NFT, but you uh, you might not know how. So here's a quick step-by-step -step guide on how to purchase your first NFT. Now the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is go to the marketplace OpenSea. Now this is just where you're gonna buy and where all the NFTs are listed. So once you're there, you're gonna go over and you're gonna create your own profile. Now once you create profile, you're gonna have to create an Ethereum-based wallet. So for this example, we're gonna use Coinbase because it's super simple and I super love Coinbase. Now you now there's a couple different options. For me, I have Chrome, so I'm just gonna install a, uh, a Chrome extension. Or if you just wanna do this on your phone, you can, they have an app, super simple, super easy. It's the same process just through your phone. But for this example, I'm gonna click install. Um, to add the Chrome extension. And then once it does that, it's gonna go to a page where you either are gonna create a new wallet or uh, log into your current wallet. Now to create a new wallet, it's uh, it's insanely simple and it takes about like 10 seconds. So what you're gonna do is just create your own username. Now you can make your username private or uh, or available for search, that is up to you, it doesn't really matter. And then once you create your username, it's going to give you a 12 word uh, backup phrase. Now, just in case you ever lose your password, this is the only way to regain access to your account. So copy it somewhere, it is very important. Do not lose this. Then after you copy it over, uh, you're gonna just create a new password, pretty self-explanatory, and then boom, you officially have an Ethereum-based uh, wallet. Now, if I didn't mention this earlier, the uh, the wallet is exactly what it sounds. It's just designed to uh, to hold your, your cryptocurrency and your NFTs, kind of just like a regular wallet where it holds your cash and your credit cards, et cetera. And once you do that, you're gonna go back to OpenSea and then click on Coinbase wallet again and then click connect. So you're just gonna connect the wallet to OpenSea and it's gonna create your profile. 
Now it's not very sexy right now, but we're doing this in real time. So you can, you can customize this profile and you can also go to the right hand side and then toggle your wallet inside. You can see your funds and then uh, also your NFTs through here. So uh, we do have a little Ethereum that I transferred over uh, a little while ago, but that's not what we want. Okay. Now what we want is Polygon based Ethereum. Now that may sound like gibberish, but the reason why we do want Polygon is so we do not pay crazy amounts of gas fees. Now gas fees are essentially just fees to do the transaction and it raises the cost substantially so polygon is no gas fees it's free so what you're going to do to get some polygon is you're going to click add funds and then once you do that you're going to click buy with card and then you're going to type in which currency that you want and uh, we're going to look for a polygon based ethereum all right, there we go, perfect. Then you're gonna type in the amount that you want and then click continue. Now try to add a little bit more than the uh, than the current asking price for the NFT, just in case there's a fluctuation, but it's, it's not a big deal. So you're gonna click continue and then we are going to see that you need to have your wallet address. Now, essentially, MoonPage is, is looking for a place to send this crypto that you're about to buy. Now, if you don't have your wallet already copied, what you're going to do is just go back to OpenSea and then go to your wallet on the top right hand corner. It is right there. So you're just going to click it to copy and then you're just going to repeat the same exact steps just to get back to the screen that you were at before. Bada bing, bada boom. And then you're going to add your wallet address so MoonPage just knows where to send the crypto. And after that, you're going to click continue. Buy now. Boom, boom, boom. And it's going to take a few seconds, but after this, it's either going to process or you're going to have to verify your banking information. So for me, they, uh, they want to text the number associated with, with my bank account. So, so you just click continue and it's going to send out a text. And then once you get the text, you're just going to type in the code, just like any other verification, super simple. And then you're going to click submit and then it is going to process your transaction. And then a few minutes later, boom, you are officially the owner of some polygon based Ethereum. Fantastic. And once you do that, you're going to go to uh, to buy now you're gonna click I understand I want to buy this and then click confirm checkout now you only have to do this once but with most wallets you have to unlock the currency in order to use it so you're just gonna click unlock currency now OpenSea is still a relatively new marketplace so this may take a few times but you just have to refresh the browser if it doesn't work the first time and there's a couple other tricks that if it just it's it's not working you could just hit me up and I'll be more than happy to help you out so once you unlock the currency itself um, you just have to sign the message and then boom you are officially an owner of uh, a charitable NFT fantastic and then it's just gonna be located right into your profile within OpenSea itself. And then at any point you could either resell it, you could just collect it, you could just chill. It just it's all up to you what you want to do with your collection, kind of like with any collection that you have. It's up to you what you want to do with it. And it is that simple. All right. And that is it. That is all I have for today's video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hopefully you saw some value in this video. If you learned anything, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, if you like this video, make sure to like it so you can uh, praise those YouTube gods for me. Thank you so much for watching. Throw any questions in the comments. I appreciate you and I will see you next time. Peace.